Hey guys, it's Kadeb Brown uh, here with the video tutorial on how to teach you how to properly measure your ribbons, name tag, rank, and J bar all on the stand issue male khaki shirt. Now, what you need for this is a ruler, and that's about it. You're just a ruler. Now, for measurements, your name tag will be measured one fourth of an inch from the right breast pocket. Your ribbons will be measured one fourth an inch from the left breast pocket. Your rank will be measured one and seven eighth inch from the tip of the right collar. And your J bar will be measured one, th one inch and seven eighths from your left collar. Okay, so let me show you what that looks like on a ruler. Um, as you can see here, this is inches for a rank. Uh, for ribbons and name tag, you will be measuring here. That right there is the one fourth inch mark. All right. So here I have my ribbons. Okay. And your ribbons will go on the left side. If you're looking at it, uh, from where I'm looking at it, it'll be the right side. So what you do is you would and clip these little pins, we call them frogs. Go like this, little golden things. And you put it on the shirt, and then you find the one fourth inch mark. You put it like this, put the, the zero on the top of it. And then you would measure from the top of this breast pocket to the bottom of where your ribbon starts. It does take some time to get used to where it will be and how it will look like. It's all about taking your time because everything has to be perfect. Also make sure that your ribbons are aligned with this little long seam that goes across the chest of the khaki shirt. What you do is you push in the pins in the back of the shirt so they puncture through it. And then put the pins in. Should, should look something like this. Sorry, the lighting's kind of off, but should look something like this. It's a very, very uh, little measurement, a little, very, very little space from the pocket to the ribbons. It should be about the size of a pencil. This little, this little divot should be about the size of a pencil. Okay. And then moving on to your name tag, it's the same exact uh, measurement as the ribbons, except it is on a different side. So once again, you find your one fourth inch mark, and then you would center it again on the seam with the middle of the name tag. pocket to the bottom of the name tag and it should look something like this you get my pins and there you have it so now the chest of it is now complete. It looks about right. If it doesn't, like for, say for example, uh, the ribbons look good, but then your name tag was like a little bit too high. 
then you know you can go back and readjust it. Don't just don't just eyeball it, like, which means just put it down. Just don't measure it at all. Like you have to measure it so it looks nice and neat, and you get that hundred on uniform inspection. You know, it's a great feeling. Great feeling. Um. All right. Now moving on to ranks. This is my rank. This is the rank of the E4. Uh, for NS ones, you usually go up to about E3 rank, which is semen, which uh, which is two diagonal lines. So it'll be measured a bit differently than how this eagle on a on a chevron would be. So for the semen rank, which I do not have, uh, would be measured from this tip of the collar to about halfway in between the rank. But since this is different, uh, it'd still be the same measurement, 1 70th inch from the tip. Let me show you what that looks like first. So you have the one inch mark, and then you have the half inch mark. Um, so it'd be, you know, one inch, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seventh eighths. This is where the one and seventh eighths inch mark will be, right there. Okay. So then you can take, put it on the tip of the collar, and then you would measure one seven eighths inch. For me, it would be uh, centered on this little bar that the eagle's toes are on, a little bar just above the chevron. Now again, it is okay if it does take a while. It's always nice to get it perfect. Don't rush it. It is a time-consuming process. That's why you always have your uniform ready uh, about two days or a day in advance before you for inspection. So then your rank, well my rank, and yours too, should look something like this. Something like that. See it is aligned with the tip. It's almost in like a triangle form, you see it? Like Almost looks like 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 a triangle. So this side goes across and then down. It's all centered. Okay. And then finally, what we have for the male uniform would be the J bar. This is a bar that says JROTC for it. We call it a J bar. And it's the same measurement as the rank only on the opposite side, and it will be centered from the tip of the collar to the middle of the O. The middle of the O. So you get your ruler again, find that one seventeenth inch mark, put it on the tip of the collar, tip of the collar just like that. And then when you do measuring, you put it in, put the frogs in, the back, and it should look something like this. See how is it centered? Looks like a triangle. And what I mean by what it being so different from the, the tip to the O, as I said in the beginning, would be the one and seven eighth inch mark would go through the middle of the O. So it'd be like a, a horizontal line, you know, going through the O. Um, and yeah, that's all I have for today. Um, hope y'all have a better understanding of how to uh, measure your devices on your khaki shirt. Uh, if you're still having trouble, you know, go to your cadet field manual and 
and uh, thank you for watching.